Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to split up your Easy Drummer drums, MIDI drums, into individual tracks. And so you can process them later and turn them into audio rather than a MIDI format. So let's get started. Is the first thing that you do is you add an instrument track. Just one instrument track. Um, we can go down and choose our Easy Drummer 2. And have that as stereo out. Add track. Once that's open, you find a groove. Um, just go to the browser. Just going to pick any groove here. We'll just take take a hats the eighth rock open. Throw that over here. Close that out. We will duplicate that a few times so we have something to work with. Make sure it's working. Sure is. All right, so once we have this done, we got to map our outputs on Easy Drummer. So basically, is what I normally do is I open up Easy Drummer and I go to the mixer and then I play it and see what channels I have audio coming through. Normally, you know what you have. If you have toms and stuff, they may not be playing when you're play, actually playing the Easy Drummer, but you know that you got toms coming somewhere in your song. But right now, I don't, we don't have any toms. We just got a basic uh, snare, kick, um, um, hi-hat, and we got overhead and ambience. Do, I don't record the reverb because if I want to add reverb, I add reverb later. So we just look, we look at this. We, got, we have five different channels showing audio. Now this one was moving also, the reverb, but we're not going to record that. So we want to create, and if we look at this, we have the kick, the snare, the uh, hi-hat are all mono tracks. The overhead and ambience is uh, two stereo tracks. We're not going to do the compression either. So compression and reverb we're going to leave off. So we want four or make that five tracks. So you got kick, the snare, the hi-hat, overhead, and ambience. Three monos, two stereo. So what we do is we make the kick one, just by right, left clicking on that, make that number one, snare number two, hi-hat number three, the overhead number four, and ambience number five. Now we can close this out. Over here, since we have five tracks, we go to the Easy Drummer tab here, click this little right arrow here, and then we make this five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Exit out of that. Okay, so we have this all done. Now you're not going to hear the audio all you're going to hear is your kick. You should only hear your kick. Oh, I haven't bust them yet. Never mind. <clears throat> we go up to devices and we go to VST connections and we add buses. So we we want 3 mono buses. Just name it bus one, and it'll add. It'll actually name them bus one, two, three. 
and then we want to add another bus those want to be stereo and we want two of those and we will call them bus four and it'll make four and five and as in the other video if you right click this and hit um, or make that left click this and hit not connected you don't want to have these connected So now we have our buses on our output tab. And if we go to our actual mix window, you'll see our buses in here. One, two, three, four, five. Which one, two, and three are monos, and uh, four and five are both stereo. So now we go back to our this window and we want to create three mono tracks three mono audio tracks audio three mono and just we'll just name well we'll just we'll just keep them as the default we'll just go audio one so we got three so we know that this is going to be the kick This one's going to be the snare. This one's going to be the hi-hat. Now we want to create two more tracks, which they're going to be stereo. And we'll name this one overhead. there we have it now all we need to do is route through the bus to these tracks so if we go back to our mix window and we start with the easy drummer one and all we need to do is send this to bus one send this one to bus two this one to bus three this one to bus four and this one to bus five we go back to our this window here and we want to make sure that our kick comes in on bus one our snare comes in on bus two, hi-hat, bus three, overhead, bus four, ambient, bus five. Now if we arm all these tracks, yep, I forgot one step already. We got to make sure we turn all these on. Now it should work. Okay, we have we have signal on all of our mics. So now, if we hit record on all these tracks. Mute this. Now you can process this audio however you want. 
you can add reverb to your snare, gate your snare, um, EQ just the kick, EQ just the snare, uh, roll off some low end to the overhead and ambient. That's it. It's pretty simple. If you like this video, like. Um, if you don't like it, click don't like. Um, I look forward to your feedback. Thanks for your time, and thank you.